international family trip this is like a huge deal so this has never happened before i'm just feeling so grateful From Melbourne we got my sister on the treadmill serving you slow walks on the treadmill this is only mine I'm quite used to it I'm just warming up before my class and then the plan is to go have a coffee and a green juice afterwards So I just finished warming up. My pants are from Gym Shops. My shoes are Puma. Well, I've only bought these shoes for running, so I only have this one. I'm not sure where the top is from, but yeah, let's go to One R, which is down the road in South Yara, where I'm doing my last class of the three trial classes that I bought. And they have such a variety of classes, but today I'm doing a particular one on the treadmill. I don't know what's gonna happen, okay? Wish me like pray for me.
We made it out of the house and so now we're taking a hike to the lookout, Teddy's lookout point. It's about 30 minutes there and 30 minutes back. Hence I'm a little bit out of breath but it's after four, the sun is setting. I'm with my mom and my sister, wind in my hair, love in my heart. Life is good. <laughs> My sister. How are you doing, Mama? Out of 10? 11. 11? Okay. You better. We are official in, officially in the Australian Bundu, ladies and gentlemen, birds and bees. I hope that's all we see because if I see anything else, Australia, please. I've been practicing my freezing moments because apparently my sister said, when you see a snake, you must... <laughs> Mama, you bumped into me. <laughs> you must freeze. But I don't know. I guess I'll have like two seconds of freezing and then I'll bolt. I'll run back to South Africa. And then they have a kangaroo. Although I would love to bump into a kangaroo. Um, hopefully they don't punch me. Because I come in peace. So beautiful I mean so tranquil I was just saying how incredible it is that wherever you go it can be the same beach we left at home but different because it's just so beautiful I love a sunset and I love the beach so. here's a cockatoo oh there he is come on cockatoo hey cockatoo too Oh, <laughs> I think it's so cute how they hop. The downhill of it all. You see this hill? You can see the ocean from here. That's the ocean there. This is the hill going down. My mom is complaining. Hey you guys, I am in our bathroom where we're staying. Well, my sister booked this on bookings.com. Y'all, my sister is actually an amazing organized person. A little bit too organized if you ask me, but I love her for it because we are doing a road trip and 
and we are in Lawn. Today we went to the lookout house where you see this beautiful view on the beach and it's like sunset and then we we're like let's start walking back because we didn't drive here and you know what they say about these Australian animals you know they can be tiny tinier than a mustard seed and still kill you so I was like let's not walk in the dark so we came back and then we had a little bit of a fresher time now we're gonna head over to dinner so I'm just getting ready for that and the chat to you in the meantime in the meantime yes yes if you know you know so being here is in in australia is such a beautiful and very memorable moment for me and my family it's a really 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 big deal because as a family we haven't really done this ever the last time we did this was me my mom my sisters as we made our way down to south africa when we we're moving countries and then we also go to Cape Town, but an international family trip, this is like a huge deal. So this has never happened before. I'm just feeling so grateful. I don't know. I'm just feeling so grateful. Hold on. Let me just get my, my stuff together here. So, yeah, I flew in when we all landed in Melbourne because my, my other sister and my brother from Joburg I flew from Cape Town so I flew after them met with them in Joburg when they came from here with my sister because she lives in Melbourne my other younger sister so we met in Sydney and then we did the Sydney leg where my husband also came and then my husband also came which made it extra special so we, we had our first international um, family trip so I just want to be fully immersed in the moment and also remember this forever I want to take loads of photos of course I'm taking it all in two it's a little bit of a balancing act but I'm just feeling so super blessed to do this and also to see my sister doing well it's my first time visiting her since she's moved to Australia and it's just so surreal you know and I, I'm just sitting here looking back and we came to South Africa as refugees, you know. We are all now citizens 20 odd years later. I don't know if you guys want a story time on that. My diaspora journey and being in South Africa and how I attained my South African documents and my experience really as an asylum seeker in South Africa has been rather interesting. One of the best lessons I've ever learned, like imagine being so insignificant <laughs> paper-wise and then and then ma making it like still having the most character defining moments of life and then ending up at this age and then I'm looking back and seeing where I've come, especially because I've just become a citizen, I think I'm reaching two years, but it's only just picking it because I'm like, I'm actually going to have to vote. I've never voted ever because I left Congo when I was a kid and I've only got citizen now and when you are anything else, you can't, you can't vote of, of course, which makes absolute sense. But yeah, we are in Lawn. Lawn basically is like a really beautiful um it's like somewhere where you can raise your kids somewhere you can retire but absolutely gorgeous very quiet especially when we are hiking but it's only my first day here so we're gonna see more of it tomorrow the restaurant life is alive it's a surface city so there's loads and loads of surface people come here because the surfs are good the waves are good to come and surf in this area and i must say that the australian people are quite interesting because it's like i can't put my finger on them like what do they actually look like but maybe probably because there's quite a variety especially in melbourne where it's like sydney is more it's not as cosmopolitan i'd say in the sense that i saw a little bit more cooler in the streets very interesting because once you've been you've lived in like in a cosmopolitan place it's just very strange not to i don't know I'm like do you, i'm just like where are the people? <laughs> I'm just not used to it, I guess.
That is a little bit weird in here. But the, for the most part, I just wanted to drop in and say hello. Uh, tomorrow, on the other hand, we are going to do the leg back drive and we're going to see the 12 apostles. And we're basically going to see the scenery around this area. But that's what I like about Melbourne. You can go away for a long drive and be in another town and it looks totally different. And then you have the best of the, the beaches but you also have the nature i have not yet bumped into a kangaroo i'm still hoping to bump into a kangaroo don't bump into one at the lookout so i'm still holding my 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 cross i'm still crossing my fingers and hoping that the kangaroos come out to play and say hi do you know what i mean because we saw two road kills on our way here like two dead baby kangaroos on top of everything dead in the middle of the road sorry may the rest in peace but like i was upset because i'm like why have i not seen any but maybe they, maybe you know they say be careful what you ask for like i don't want to be punched okay dear lord i just want, i just want to see them because i think they're so cute and they're very like it's an australian thing right worst part is my sisters like i've seen so many it's so weird that i've spent this much time on the road and I haven't seen any, so I was like, oh, is it me? Am I the drama? Uh, tonight we're going to like a bistro or steak restaurant. So um, I am not doing too much. However, like I said, it's a very special moment for me and my family. So I do want to grab some of those nice photos. Okay, well, I'm finished with my makeup, so I'm just gonna get dressed. This is pretty much the look. I'm gonna go for this leather jacket. Ooh. And this long dress is like midi, and it's super stretchy, and it's got it's backless, so this is vibes. Backless, high neck, like this, and backless, so it's super classy. I have finished my makeup. I love this color, um, this makeup palette from Huda Beauty. First of all, it travels amazing. Nothing's gonna come out. Then inside, you have such you can go nudes, you can go color, you can mix it up and make your own colors. This is and it's got a mirror inside. Hello, hello. Do you see that? That is vital for when you're traveling. Okay, here's the dress.
ice cream. Reminds me of my childhood.